it would be a mistake to blame international students for the housing crisis, but it'd also be a mistake to invite them to come to Canada with no support, including how to put a roof over their heads. It's why we expect learning institutions uh, to only accept the number of students that they're able to provide for, able to house or assist in finding off-campus housing. In welcoming international students, we have a responsibility to make sure that students are supported when they come to our country. We also want to ensure that international students don't become victims of unscrupulous individuals who offer them inadequate living conditions, sometimes even at inflated prices. Ahead of September 2024, we are prepared to take necessary measures, including significantly limiting visas to ensure that designated learning institutions provide adequate and sufficient student supports as part of the academic experience. In order to achieve this result, it is imperative that we work together with provincial and territorial governments, learning institutions and other education stakeholders so we can ensure international students are set up for success in Canada. Enough is enough. If provinces and territories cannot do this, we will do it for them and they will not like the bluntness of the instruments that we use. Our aim is to strike the right balance between welcoming international students and making sure they have all the need, all they have and all they need to thrive.